All right. So derivative of uh, tangent x. So let's look at uh, example one. So we are taking the derivative of y equals tangent x. So we can write tangent x as sine x over cos x. And then when we are taking the derivative, we can apply the quotient rule. Okay, so derivative of numerator, the derivative of sine x is cos x times denominator cos x minus derivative of denominator negative sine x times numerator sine x over square of the denominator cos square x. If we simplify this, we get cos square x plus sine square x over cos square x. Now I want you to remember uh, in 5.4, we kind of reviewed and then said that cos square theta plus sine square theta equals 1. So if you use that here, the cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1, so we get 1 over cos squared x. The derivative of tangent x is 1 over cos squared x. In your textbook, you may also see it as secant squared x. Okay, so let's apply that rule. So we have tangent x cubed minus 5x uh, minus 5x. Okay. So we are taking the derivative. So 1 over. Uh, so let me add up one thing. So if you have, yes, tangent x derivative of it is 1 over cos square x. How about if you have tangent f of x? So the angle is not x, but is a function of x. Then the derivative of it is going to be 1 over cos square f of x times derivative of the angle. Okay, so now let's apply that rule here. So 1 over cos square x cubed minus 5x. Now we're going to multiply this by the derivative of the angle. The derivative of x cubed minus 5x is 3x squared minus 5. So you have 3x squared minus 5 over cos square x cubed minus 5x. So let's look at y equals cotangent x. So we can write cotangent x as cos x over sine x. So tangent is sine over cos, cotangent cos over sine. Let's take the derivative of this, applying the quotient rule. Derivative of numerator, negative sine x times denominator, sine x minus derivative of denominator cos x times numerator cos x divided by square root of the denominator. So we end up with negative sine square x minus cos square x over sine square x. If you factor negative 1 from here, Then we get negative in a bracket sine squared x plus cos squared x. Again, applying the famous identity. So sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So you end up with negative 1 over sine squared x. And also in your textbook, you may see it as negative cosecant squared x. Okay, so we have y equals, for part C, cos x plus tan x cubed. 
So it looks like we're going to apply chain rule here. So take the exponent, drop it to the front as a coefficient. Keep the bracket as it is. Decrease the exponent by one. Then take the derivative of inside. So derivative of cos x is negative sine x. Derivative of tangent x is 1 over cos squared x. Now we can simplify this and write everything in terms of sine and cosine. So 3 cos x plus sine x over cos x squared. We have a common denominator here. You get negative sine x cos squared x plus 1 over cos squared x. So I have a common denominator here now. Cos squared x plus sine x over cos x squared. And this one is negative sine x cos squared x plus 1 over cos squared x. So you can distribute this exponent. That will give you cos squared x plus sine x squared. over cos squared x. Cos squared x times cos squared x gives you cos to the power of 4x. And you still have this negative sine x cos squared x plus 1. Okay, let's look at d. We have x squared times tangent to the x minus pi. So we need to apply product rule as we take the derivative. Derivative of first function, 2x times second function, tangent 3x minus pi. Plus derivative of second function, so derivative of tangent 3x minus pi, so 1 over cos square 3x minus pi, and we're going to multiply this by the derivative of the angle. So derivative of 3x minus pi is 3. So times 3. I'm just going to put it here. Times the first one, x squared. Now we can simplify this, write tangent in terms of sine and cosine. sine 3x minus pi over cosine 3x minus pi plus 3x squared over cos squared 3x minus pi. So you can have a common denominator, but let's multiply first fraction by cos 3x minus pi. So 2x sine 3x minus pi cos 3x minus pi plus 3x square over cos square 3x minus pi. You can also factor x. So you get 2 times sine 3x minus pi cos 3x minus pi plus 3x over cos square 3x minus pi. Now we can look at example 3. Find the equation of the tangent to y equals cotangent 3x at x equals pi over 4. I'm going to do it here. So example 3. So we have a function y equals cotangent 3x. 
and we are looking at the equation of the tangent at x equals pi over 5. Let's remember um, the derivative of cotangent x from the first page. We said that if, he, if y equals cotangent x, y prime is negative 1 over sine squared x. And if you have cotangent f of x, so y prime is negative 1 over sine squared x times, and sine squared f of x times f prime of x. Okay, <clears throat> so to write the equation of the tangent, we need the slope of the tangent, then we need the first derivative. Okay, so this gives me 1 over sine square 3x times derivative of inside, derivative of 3x is 3, times 3. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, so now we can substitute to get the slope. We can substitute pi over 4. So 3 over sine square 3 pi over 4. So sine 3 pi over 4. So 3 pi over 4 in the second quadrant using cast. Sine is positive in the second quadrant. So sine beta, which is pi over 4, is... 1 over root 2. So sine 3 pi over 4 is also 1 over root 2 using cast. So you get 3 over 1 over root 2 square. 3 over 1 over 2. So flip it. So you get 6. 3 times 2 over 1, which is 6. That is your slope for the tangent. Y equals 6x plus b. Now we need a point to sub in. So x coordinate of the point is pi over 4. So you need the y coordinate. So sub in the function. So y equals cotangent 3 pi over 4. So you can look at tangent 3 pi over 4 to get cotangent 3 pi over 4. So tangent pi over 4 using the special triangles is 1. Again, if you sketch 3 pi over 4, it is in the second quadrant. Only sine is positive. So tangent must be negative. So tangent 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. So cotangent 3 pi over 4 is 1 over tangent 3 pi over 4. So 1 over negative 1 gives you a negative 1. So this is the y coordinate of the point. Sub in. So negative 1 equals 6 times pi over 4 plus b. Negative 1, 3 pi over 2 plus b. So negative 1 minus 3 pi over 2 equals b. So y equals 6x minus 1 minus 3 pi over 4. So pi over 2. Guys, I forgot the negative here. So I'm just going to add it, okay? So that is negative. That is negative. 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 That is negative. Okay. So negative 6x minus 1 plus 3.02 is the final answer. 